Hey everybody, my name is Shrine Bird and welcome back to Webis and P Season 3. I'm back to catch you up on week 20 of Webis and P from my perspective. We missed a week since I was away the previous week, but in between I've done a little work to move the nether portal into this cute gazebo and added some more lakes and rivers. I also marked out where I want to add some more buildings in the future. In the mail, we received a couple of letters. Let's check them out. Hello, I hope all is well. As a friend of Harp, I feel as I feel as if it is obligated that I assist you in restoring his soul. I understand we aren't familiar with one another, but we share the wish to help Harp. It is cruel watching someone so close, so slowly turning into a stranger. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. If there's any way I can help or assist regarding preparations and whatnot, please don't be hesitant to ask. Your friend, the fucked up cat. Yes, I would love to have tea with both of you, as I have a lot of questions and would like to know more about you guys in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Okay, interesting. I'll bring that up to hear me, and we'll see if um. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll send Belka a message, and we can arrange a little uh, a little meeting. Hey, so I heard you were looking for info on soup. You need a hint. Bear two things in mind: statues and eyes. Much is hidden in plain sight. That is all. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. I wonder who that's from. But we were looking for everyone's soup. Statues and eyes. There's a lot of those in soup's place, so. I know there's an eye up here. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's an eye up here, is what I meant. But there's also a thing up here. A mysterious liquid. A mysterious green liquid. Wait, what's it holding? Can I have that? Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, get done. Project one plus five summary and new notes. Uh, project two must soon come to a close. For not cheek? May since have gone missing. I found my note keeping place to be too risky. I've hidden it underneath the old plague pit, I believe it. Chemicals? Uh, not work, I think. Perhaps ask about this off offhand way. Nobody needs to know. Hidden under the old plague pit. Alright, you take that. Um, we couldn't read most of that, there was too many mysterious green liquids on it. So I think the only way that area that I would consider like a plague pit would be like that this bit here with the skull, right? So I don't want to dig because I don't want to break anything. Oh, there's just straight up a skull there. But there is like space under there. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Hello, notes. Sit in the sweet. I'm feeling an intense urge to destroy something, to blow something up. I do not consider myself to be a destructive individual, self-destructive perhaps, but a simple agent of chaos. Mindless destruction is just, for lack of a better word, pathetic. Pointless. It achieves nothing. Advances no cause. But nevertheless, it sure does feel good. Not sure why I've been so angry recently. I thought I would be happier considering the circumstances. I've practically everything I want. Relative safety, beneficial alliances, adequate resources, the issue resolved, the issue solved as far as I know, and above all, access to almost any knowledge that I desire. And a, not sure the right phrase here, ally? Whichever the right word is, I'm at a great advantage. Yet I still crave more. It's as if there's this burning inside of me. One that corrodes the corners of my mind and soul that makes me crave more, more, more knowledge, more power. No, it's not power itself that I crave. Power simply comes alongside knowledge that's a given. Knowledge is power in its purest form and I need more. I don't know why, it's like once that fire started, once that match was flicked and the flame sparked, it never went out. Sure, it was destroyed. Everything in the previous world was. Yet I still find the notes, the paper, it follows me. And it's all burnt. Am I burning? Sometimes when I have allowed myself to sleep or simply been unable to keep myself awake, I find myself back there. <laughs> it feels like a fresh wound. I bleed sometimes. My blood hasn't looked quite right since... Never mind. Chemist said he wouldn't want to overwhelm me with knowledge, but I wonder, what would it be like? What would it be like to be so overwhelmed with knowledge that you can hardly take it all in without it destroying you? I want to know. I need to know. I don't really know who I am anymore. I think the fire's still burning, and nothing could put it out. I could stuff it out, sure, but the wick remains hot. The wax remains melted, and all it takes is one breath before the, start, the sparks form again, and I reignite. Maybe it's that feeling of controlling the uncontrollable. As much as it hurt, it felt good. Watching it all crumble and burn. Fire, gunpowder, it all makes me anxious now. It's hard to catch my breath even just hearing a creeper explode. Creeper, oh man. Being around it doesn't feel good, yet I want to blow something up. Interesting. 
things are getting interesting. Who knows? See, I wasn't technically lying when I said it's not a split or dual personality situation. That's just the way that I happen to view it. Everyone has these two sides to them. Because most of the time, they tend to be more blended together, shall we say. I would say that both sides should exist together. It's natural that way, but to be honest, none of what I am is natural anymore. And one of us is going to win in the end. One side will win in the end. I know who I am. I know who I am. But I know who I am. No, she's not me. I'm not her. I'm going to get rid of her. I've asked about possession. I'll figure something out on my own. If I can't, then it's my own fault and I can deal with the consequences. So for the vault, it'll be a good time to learn about others, perhaps with the amount of people there. But that's a scintillation event. Speaking of, I should probably ask Shrine about that. I don't think I'm actually supposed to know yet, and I don't want to end up knowing things I shouldn't. To other people, at least. I think, in reality, I know far too many things that I shouldn't, but not quite enough. It's never enough, is it? I decided to allow them to catch on to something. Keep them entertained for a while. I'm not particularly happy about it, but alas, what's done is done. If only I would just give up. Fighting it is fruitless, worthless, pathetic, just like I. I'm giving it some time. I'll give in soon. And if I don't, I'll make it happen. No. Yes. We'll see. Oh, yes, we will. Oof. Dug my own grave, and now I shall lay in it. No. I need to ask more about possession. I don't know who I can ask anymore. Not Shrine, not Hear Me, not Harp, not Chemist. I don't know. How do you solve a problem you never used to believe was even real? I worry I'm a bad person. Well, I know I'm a bad person. The things I've done, past and present, are hardly, well, good. But maybe I can stop that becoming my future, too. Yes, I need to stop burning bridges. I don't really have anyone now. I shouldn't keep this to myself, but well, who could tell? Who can I tell? Like I said, I don't have anyone. I feel like I did that on purpose. I? Was it me? I don't know. Everything's so confusing, and I hardly know what's going on anymore. I just wake, I read, write, or such, then I sleep. Sometimes. When was the last time I slept? When was the last time I wasn't sleeping? I don't even know what day it is, what year it is. It's definitely not what I remember it being, even before coming here. I close my eyes, and all I see is the words that I wrote earlier that, that day scattering across the black. I think, I seem to be thinking a lot while giving little proof. I wish I could record this properly, but to be quite honest, I don't know how to. I'm not even sure if I'm experiencing it. Maybe I'm just making it up, as an excuse for doing, well, everything I seem to have been doing. I don't always clearly recall doing some of the things I do. When I experience them, it's like a haze. I feel dizzy and sick, and the words just seem to fall out of my mouth. But then again, that's how I feel all the time, isn't it? I feel dizzy right now. When was the last time I didn't? It's been worse since I spoke to Shred and hear me. I think I'm just tired and it took a lot out of me. I didn't mean to get so defensive, I just, I can handle myself. <laughs> I don't want to be watched again. I know what's making me so weak all the time, I just don't have the strength to deal with it. Magic will continue to support me for now. Huh. Interesting. Let's put that back in there. Okay, so this is a plague pit. Uh, and under here there is a little note thingy. It's 32 pages, I read it already. Um, basically, in summation, I think we were right about Soup. Um, there is some sort of like double personality thing going on. Uh, especially by the end of the book, you can tell that they're like arguing with themselves. It sounds like Chemist knows or knew, probably. Probably doesn't know anymore, but probably knew before he got mind wiped. So this is the second one I got. So that's obviously it sounds like he wants to meet up and help out with the harp situation but i'm a little suspicious maybe you know because mm. that's what we didn't we not, didn't actually say anything about that how does he know that's yeah there's that's, that's that like how does he I, I can understand him knowing about something going on with harp because you know they're buddies they live together or they did i don't know but you know i, I can understand him knowing that but why is he knowing that we're investigating it, you know? Like, we haven't mentioned it at all. Who harp by Soup Cup. Ooh, I'm gonna commit mail mm. fraud. Read it, read it, read it, read I'm, it. I'm already read. on top of it. Ah, oh, firstly, please do forgive me. I meant to write this a while ago. I've had a lot on my mind recently, so it simply escaped my focus. I'm gonna speak in person to you, but to be quite frank, I don't feel up to that, and I assume you won't mind it being a letter form. Really, I wanted to apologize for accusing you of stealing the souls. In case you aren't aware, they were apparently found and returned, including mine. I still do not think my worries were unreasonable, but they were incorrect, and for that I apologize. I know that you don't trust me, I can understand why, and I do not expect that to change anytime soon. But I do hope this can allow us to move past the particular incident. Mm. On an unrelated note, I was also wondering if you could answer some questions. Usually I wouldn't ask you, but I don't think anyone else would have, really have this information. Firstly, has Chemist spoken to you recently about being marked as a sinner? Entire anti-non-utility magic kind of situation he has going on. I will be the first to admit it's rather amusing to watch, but I am curious as to know if you have any more information on this than I. 
Secondly, I have another question. I did intend to ask you this a while ago, but I was rather preoccupied and, have a, and had a good source of information at the time. This is no longer the case, so I was wondering if you could tell me what you know about demons, and more specifically, possession. I'm aware that we spoke a while ago about demons, but I need, but I just need more, a little more information, and yes, possession. You were possessed, weren't you, I think? Yes, you were, weren't you? Well, regardless, if you know anything, please do tell me, if you're willing. I wish you the best, best I suppose, or rather, I might see you around. No, please forgive me for the state of this letter. I've been very busy working on a few things, so naturally, I've forgotten to sleep for a few days, and thus my words may be a little all over the place. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do some snooping. The Kelly will. we read this before? I can't remember at this point what we've read and what we haven't, but there's this. I don't know. Read crafted, it. crafted for shedding blood and fighting. No true purpose in the cosmos. My body strives for battle. I fight to thrive. There is no true good or bad, only surviving. The War Angels. Even no, we haven't read that. Well, yeah, I don't remember this actually. <laughs> Not that I think about it. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I feel ne fear no evil, for you are with me. As War Angels, we must stand up and fight whomever it may forsaken upon. However, remember, loss is always imminent. However, make defeat impossible. You need to hide. The War Angels are divided into three factions. The Berserk, the Order of Fate, the Central Priory. The Berserk. The main army used to battle, led by the commanders into the trenches of war and the guts of blood and the guts and and the guts and the blood shall reign. Ruthless and intelligent, the Berserk shall prevail. The Order of Fate. Assassins and information gatherer of the War Angels. Sly and honest, the Order of Fate remain in the shadows. The Central Priory. The decision makers and technological advances, super weapons, machines and whatnot. Smart and creative, the Central Priory shall continue to think. P.S. Central Priory and nerds. Oh, well, there you go then. What I gathered from that is Valkyra is probably one of those types of angels. The war mm -hmm. angels. I don't really know what to, um... Do about that. Um... So do you think we should trust him for now, or do you think we should, um... Continue to be suspicious? I don't know. Okay. You know, the, the point of Kirby really sort of accentuates your just sort of clueless, no brain cell <laughs> attitude. <laughs> it's got, it's like the SpongeBob sound, it's gonna go, bling, bling, yeah. as, it, as it does it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Harp, possessed. Falk, maybe an angel, but wants to help us help Harp. To Valko, that's probably easier. You know what? It's good enough. I know who he is. He knows who he is. We all know who he is. Okay, let's send that. It is sent. So hopefully he will get in touch with us at some point. Finally, I started building the second big tower next to the map tower. This one's going to be for photos and art, but I'm not sure I'm happy with the design yet. We'll see it next time. That's all from my perspective of week 20. Check back in next week for more and drop it on the streams and say hi if you like. Remember to follow me over at twitch.tv forward slash shrinebed to catch the streams live and stop here to keep up with everything. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on WebSMP.